Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wayland Studio Press Network's live coverage of Wayland Girls Varsity Lacrosse. I'm Gabe Leikerman, and alongside me is Luke Caples. And we are ready for a showdown between the Wayland Warriors and the Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons. Here's Deirdre Brown on the faceoff for Wayland against number four for um, the Falcons, who is Ellie Harmon. And then the ball is in play, and Deirdre Brown wins it. She's going to take it up the middle of the field. Deirdre Brown, she's going to try to look for a pass. And she does find one. Now Whalen's going to reset at the top. Going to give it up, and they're going to have a shot. At Deirdre Brown, and it's going to be saved. Saved by the goalkeeper for... The Falcons now, she's going to try to find a teammate to pass the ball to. And Whalen seems to be playing good defense here, Lou, covering every player. Can't find anyone out there. They're just running around, can't find <laughs> anyone. Goalie tosses it up. And it is taken by Kat Taxiarchus. She's going to take it up the field to the 30. It's gonna slow the slow the play down, try to find someone in the middle of the field. Good pass. Oh, Whalen. First goal. Right into the game. Off to a fast start here. I believe that was Jillian Mealy, who is a sophomore. Or a freshman, sorry. Good play by Caitlin Mabe. Waited for the right time to attack. Found the pass. Early scoring from Whalen. Off to a good start. And Lou, coming into this game, I think Wayland was favored. Yes. I think. I think um, they have they've really shown that they can beat a team like CRL in the past. And I think this time might be no different. Still early, though. We'll see as the ball is in the center circle. And Deirdre Brown in there for Wayland. He popped up into the air and hauled Snow in. On both face -offs. Now Wayland's going to take this one up. Sydney O'Rourke passes to Mealy to the top. Gonna make a man miss, and she's going to score a goal for number eight, Wags, Julia Wags. As she gets Whalen on the board, two nothing early. Fast start from Whalen. And now we're gonna see what adjustments CRL can make because right now you're not playing well at all. Whalen has been dominating in every facet of the game. The ball hasn't even been on Whalen's side yet. Yeah, as long as Deirdre Brown wins the face off, they'll keep scoring. Like CRL haven't had the ball other than the goalie. They've had trouble getting it out, but until they get a grip in this game, the score is going to keep going up. Now, third face off of the game here. Another and, win. Yep, another win. There's a round in. She falls. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Wags, the goal scorer, Good makes a man pass. miss. Senior gives it up and just, just short. Wide. And we're going to see how they're going to call it. And it's going to. Yeah, they're going to try to take this one out. And almost an interception there by Sammy Johnson. Whalen's relentless on defense. No time, nothing. And these aren't even their defenders. Wow. This is their attackers keeping the ball on their side. Here's Johnson recovering the ball. She's going to find Brown. Here's Brown slowing the play down. She's going to try to find a teammate here. She gives it up to Wags. Back to Brown. Good pass. In lane and a far shot that's way off, but O'Rourke is closest to it. So Whalen will retain possession. That was a great play by Whalen. Just being patient, finding the right pass, cutting through. Here's Johnson. Good goal. Oh, great goal from Johnson. <laughs> Sammy Johnson with a third goal for Whalen. That was a tough move to get inside. 
and she was just one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Nothing the goalie could do about that from that close of a distance. And now Whalen goes up 3-0 with 22 minutes left to go in the half. Yeah, great start from Whalen all around. Obviously, attack has been on point. As soon as Cambridge gets the ball, they're just all over them. No, they're just relentless with the defense. And let's see if this can be a fourth face-off win in a row for Deirdre Brown. And a substitution here for Cambridge. Off comes number 17, Christina Korn. And on comes number 28, Ryan Jackson. Rain Jackson. Yeah. Now face-offs on the way, and Brown might win it again. We'll see. And, yeah, Wags gets on top of it. She's going to take it up. She's going to outrun her defender going into the box. Gives it up to Maeve, but it's recovered by Maeve after a save. She's going to try to take it in again and loses it, and a foul will be called. And I believe it will be a foul on on CRL, so Whalen will keep possession. It's gonna be a free shot from Maeve. It's gonna be saved, picked up by Brown. She keeps it alive. She's gonna just take it inside. The CRL defense isn't paying attention. Gives it up to Johnson, and Johnson with the second goal of the game. Great vision from Brown, as the CRL defense just Ran away from her, Luke, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just too easy out there. Like, they can't, they can't compete if they're not trying on defense like we just saw there. And Whalen bringing four subs. A uh, big substitution here for Whalen. They're taking out, I believe, their entire attack. So a whole new offense that CRL is going to have to look at. And maybe that might spark a comeback for them as this this attack hasn't seen the field yet. Yeah, we well on attack, off to a good start. More of just, since the game, it's already up, it's already 4-0, it's more like, just get everyone in. You know, just get some reps out there. It was a very unselfish play from Deirdre Brown too. She was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and really fooled them by giving it up to Johnson. Yeah, and she just got her fifth face-off win. Unbelievable play as she has the ball right now. Give it up to Johnson. Whalen just taking patient approach they have with their other goals. No. Wags at the top. She's trying to come in, gives it up. They're going to have a shot on net, and it's a goal. I believe that's Emily Stady. You think? Yeah, I think they did. Foul prior. So Emily Stady now, the senior who just came on, will have a free shot. At this point for CRL, you can't afford for this to go in. They're already down 4-0 early. And it's bounced, and it is no good. But Wayland will be closest. Now here's Deirdre Brown. She's going to try to penetrate inside again. She does get inside but can't get a shot off. Too many defenders in the way. Here's Stady. Yeah, just taking patient approach. No hurry as they're already up big. Yeah, the ball hasn't even been in Wayland's half yet, so... Yeah. They can just afford. Good pass there. Just wasn't controlled. Now CRL might have their first chance at an attack, maybe. They can outrun the defense. They're going to, and then a foul will be called. I think it'll be a foul on Wayland. No. Cambridge can calm it down here, just find a pass. They need to get into this somehow. But Wayland defense all over them. There's Carly Travis. Forcing the, the stop. Well, just fast pace. Get the ball in transition. Find gaps and good pass there. And another goal. 
Goal for number 29, that's Jane Tardif. A great goal and a great pass there from Lily Neely. And now Wayland are up big, five nothing, and this lead just seems to be growing. And now Wayland looking to make some more substitutions. And this time it's gonna be their defense. Yeah, they're subbing out the defense even though they haven't had to do anything at all. And I think we might see, we might see some people that don't play a lot play in this game, Luke, yeah, judging sure. by the way this game's going. We're headed for a blowout, but let's see. Maybe, can it be a sixth face-off win in a row? And it is not. Deirdre Brown loses a face-off. Uh, but she might get it back and she out. She fouls, so CRL will keep possession. This is their first attack of the game. Let's see what they can do with it. And here's... Yeah, Wayland with a great first defensive showing, and now Dave Miles running it out the back. She's gonna try to find Stady. She does. Stady gonna try to look for a pass and Transition finds. Down. Here's Wags. She's gonna try to go inside. Couldn't get a shot. Good goal. And it's a goal. Emily Stady, her second of the game. She came off the bench. She didn't even start the game. She's come on, delivered two goals, and now Wayland is up 6 nothing. Yeah, not even 10 minutes into the game, 6 nothing. All gas, no breaks from Wayland. They're just clearly the dominant team. Like, like Gabe said, they can just they can play players that don't play too often without any real consequence here. Yeah, give them some reps out there. And when against uh, clearly, no offense to CRL, a little less talented of a team. And now another faceoff win for Brown as Weggs picks it up. Here's Stady, she's gonna get into the box, try to find her teammate, finds Johnson. She's gonna try to rip it behind the net. Here's Travis to Mealy. Back to Johnson. Now Whalen just moving it around. They they don't they don't need to be they don't need to rush a shot. They can get the best shot possible because they have all the time in the world. There's now a save by the goalkeeper. And Luke, despite the scoreline, I think the goalkeeper for Sierra has honestly not been that bad. They've made a couple saves. Yeah, a few saves. But it's just been like shots really close that are just a little, they're asking a little too much of their goalkeeper. Yeah. Uh, with all the chances Wayland have been getting, they're just bound to go in. I mean, CRL defense hasn't been too great as of yet. They've run that play a few times right there. Another goal, 7 0. They just. It's, it's usually Julia Weggerbauer or Deirdre Brown. They just draw a couple defenders, pass it, give and go, and they're in on goal. And they're talented enough to score. That's why it scores 7 0 already. Not even 10 minutes in. Yeah, and um, yeah, Wayland is just dominating. As you said, Julia Weggerbauer and Deirdre Brown have just been. The, really the face so far I think you can say of this of this game so far they have been dominating in every facet bit of a lucky bounce but this one will be chased but Lily Mealy will get it now they will reset and try to find a shot and let's see Luke do they run that give and go play again yeah, I've noticed they've been running that or just cuddles across the middle. Um, usually from behind the goal. And a foul called on the CRL defender. Whalen subs a couple players out in the back. They haven't gotten much action. There's a good pass to Deirdre on another goal. Another goal there, Deirdre Brown. That's her hat trick. Maybe, I don't know. 
Uh, but all I know is she has been dominant, and I think she might be coming out of the game here. Yeah. A well-deserved rest for Deirdre Brown, as she has been fantastic so far this game, absolutely dominating. Now, senior Caitlin Mabe, one of the captains of the team, will handle the face-off duties. And Julia Weberbauer seems to be hurt a little bit. Yeah, off. she did get fouled right before that goal, so you wonder yeah, she maybe that was it. Shaken up. Whalen don't have many players on the bench, but all of them are talented enough to come in and make an impact. So that's why the coach is so comfortable with subbing players in and out like that. Yeah, but the loss of Wegerbauer, if she doesn't come back into the game, will be could be a devastating one for future games if it's a serious injury, Luke. Now, Caitlin May will win the faceoff. You're going to take this one up the field. Good pass. And the shot on goal is wide, and it'll be CRL ball. Now, CRL will take it. Here's Carly Travis on the defense. Gonna CRL just can't find anything in this game. Barely have had the ball. An interception there. Just like that. Whalen gets the ball back. There's Sophie Ellenbogen, one of the captains of the team. She's going to intercept it. Find Mabe inside. Mabe's going to fire a shot, and she's going to score. Caitlin Mabe coming on for Deirdre Brown, and she makes an impact right away, adding to this Whalen lead. That's 9 nothing now. Yeah, it's just those little cuts they run on offense. Just catch a defender off guard. I mean... They've done it every time. You think CRL would would realize, but the defense kind of getting putting their heads down. As the score goes up and up. Not even ten minutes in, it's nine zero. But CRL just can't find a foothold in this game. And at this point, we're just wondering how many goals will Whalen score by the end. Yeah. If they choose to keep playing the way they're playing and not take their foot off the gas like you said this game could be a very insane offensive performance by Whalen yeah and like I said earlier Whalen don't have many subs and the girls are all talented so they'll keep scoring it was a great defensive play by Caitlin Mabe on the chase down now Whalen will Trying to secure the ball. CRL gets it. They're through on goal. They're going to try to get a shot and a save. Saved by Emily Campos. And a foul called on the field. This will go in CRL's favor. Yeah, and now this is CRL's real first chance. Maybe they can get one on the board. Uh, good save, good save by the goalie. Second save uh, she's had to make. It's Emily Campos. Okay, and um, yeah, this is the longest possession CRL has had in Wayland territory. And they're gonna they're gonna slow this down. They're gonna try to create an offense and maybe cut into this Wayland lead. side so they don't have to they don't have to try as hard as they were earlier in the game pressing the teams in between. That was a poor shot attempt there. The defense. It's in the middle wide open but Whalen will retain possession. They're gonna take it up the field and a foul. foul. Foul call there. And CRL has the ball in their stick, I think. Maybe it was a foul on Wayland. 
Gonna, oh, Ciro beats Julie Mealy. She's gonna go and she's gonna score. A great move by Ellie Harmon, the junior. She beat Jillian Mealy on the play and she just got right in and was one-on-one -on -one with Campos. And now the cut into the Whalen lead, now it's 9-1. Now here's Caitlin Mabe on the faceoff for Wayland. And she wins it. Emily Stady gonna control it. Get it up to Ellen Bogan. Pass it into Mabe. Mabe jab steps and score. A great shot from Caitlin Mabe. What a move. She got great separation from her defender to allow her to shoot. And she used that, used it well, took advantage of the opportunity. And Wayland now gets to double digits as they have a 10 1 lead. And yeah, like you said, Luke, Wayland answered really fast. They were like, yeah, we're not going to let that goal demoralize us. We're going to keep the pressure on and finish off this half strong. 12 minutes 45 left in the half. And if you're just joining us, you're watching Wayland Student Press Network's live coverage of Wayland Girls Varsity Lacrosse. We're watching the game between the Whalen Warriors and the Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons. And I'm Gabe Leichman, and alongside me is Luke Caples. And now, Caitlin May again on the face-off duties. Balls in the up in the air, and Jillian Mealy will control it. Just trying to try to make a defender miss, she will. She's gonna take it up the field, gives it up to Mabe, wide open. Good move by Caitlin, just deflected. And I believe a foul will be called on the play on CRL. So Mabe will get a free shot here. This could be big, a double digit lead for Wayland if she converts. She'll shoot it, and a great save by the goalie. Just caught it right in her stick. Given right back to Sierra. Down ball covered by Sophia Barris. This is the first time we're calling her name, mainly because the defense hasn't seen much action. Now she's going to give it up. Here's Mealy. Trying to spin, and it's a great save. Every time CRL gets the ball in the defensive zone, they're just hounded by the net. Now, here's Stady. Give it up to Caitlin Mabe at the top. Mabe, gonna get past her defender. She's gonna shoot it, saved by the goalie. But Mabe gets it back. Ellen Bogan to Stady at the top. Stady's gonna try to put in a pass. Allen Bogan recovers it, and another save. This goalie, despite the score line, I think the goalie's been playing fairly well here. She's made a couple saves. Now, pass, and here's Harmon. She's gonna take it up the field. She cuts inside, she beats Barris. She's through on goal. Can Whalen stop it? She's gonna take it all herself, loses it. Now CRL will reset. Ball's behind the net now. That was an exciting play by CRL, Luke. They were coming in hot through the middle of the field. Thought that could have been a goal. Yeah, it's the second time CRL's really counted on that. Can't much, they can't get much going besides that, but if that, if that continues, they might find a few more goals. Now well, here's Harmon. She's gonna try to make a defender miss. She does with a spin move and a foul called on Wayland. 
and Whalen is going to have a big group of substitutes coming in next stoppage. So we're going to see some new faces as Harmon will get a free shot. She, this could be her second goal of the game. Give a shot, and it's going to go in. Ellie Harmon adds to her scoring total, and she now has two and has cut the Wayland lead to just eight. Yeah, she's been doing it herself out there. Both the, both the chances on the counter have came through her. Obviously, she scored both the goals, but she's been one of the bright spots. Like, the only bright spot for Cambridge, maybe other than the goalie. Definitely the only bright spot offensively so far for them, as they really haven't been able to get anything going. It's really been just her. Deirdre Brown back on the faceoff. And yeah, now the faceoff will commence. Deirdre Brown's first faceoff in a while. She was out of the game. One again. Sydney O'Rourke picks up the ball. Great goal at Taxi Arches. Sydney O'Rourke, good move, good assist. It's just the same old from Whalen. Wait for the chance to attack, find the pass, goal. Yeah, and Kat Taxiarchus League, one of the better players on this team. She committed to Franklin and Marshall College to play lacrosse at the next level, which is a huge accomplishment. Yeah, one of the better teams in D3 for girls. Uh, and she started this game off in defense. And the early lead has just allowed Wayne to get the flexibility, play wherever. Um, just a lot of subs, everyone's playing. It's a good start for me. It's a good game to have early in the season. You get goals, everyone plays. Ball intercepted by Sammy Johnson, but it rolls out. Yeah, it's a great home opener as well. The, like, the fans, the students get to see their friends out there really dominating the game, so it's really great to see. There's now a great defense there from Taxiarchus, but unfortunately, it'll be a foul. And another player that's going to play lacrosse to the next level, who's also in Cat's grade, Deirdre Brown going D1 at American. Yeah, she's really dominated the game so far. You can see why she's going to play at that level. Um, been a few players. Waylon, everyone has had a good part in this game as a shot nearly goes in the bottom left corner, but a little wide, and CRL will retain possession. Yeah, this is about CRL's third uh, time on the ball in the attacking zone, but they give it away, and here comes Deirdre Brown on the counter. Ellie Harmon side on her side. Deirdre Brown pulls away. Running the full field, she's gonna get up to Taxiarchus. Taxiarchus scores her second goal of the game. CRL defense just didn't seem ready. Deirdre Brown has had a ton of assists in this game, Luke. She has been great passing the ball. She finds her teammates where they're open. She gives it to them yeah. where they can do something with it, which is the most important thing. A combination. Winning the face off, finding teammates, scoring goals, she can do it all. As she notches too many assists to count so far in this one as Taxiarchus notches her second goal of the game. And another face off here between Harmon and Brown. And, and Brown is going to win this one. Actually, no, it'll be taken. Taken by the Falcons. They're going to try to hit this one up, but harassed Deirdre Brown. by Deirdre Again. Brown and Emily Deirdre Stady. Brown. Deirdre Brown's going to take this one up the middle of the field. Counterattack. 
Yeah, they don't have to rush into anything. Yeah. They can try to find the smartest shot possible. Six minutes, 30 left in the half. Now, Stady with it. And swinging it around. Just finding their, their opportunity to go. Here's Travis in the middle. She's going to have a shot, but a save by the goalkeeper. That was a great cut by Travis yeah, to get him in the middle. There's that cut we've seen often from behind the goal. Just confuses the defense. Um, it's either that or they just draw defenders, and it's really worked for them so far. Ball one, knocked by Carly Travis, and won by her. Here's the taxi Arcus at the top. He's going to try to take it inside. Goes up to Brown. Brown just wide of the net. That was a powerful shot and a great pass by Taxi Arcus. Yeah, good job by Taxi Arcus. Hold on to the ball. She got she got a lot of contact there and she made a great pass there. Here's Lily Mealy to Travis. Deirdre was trying to find Catherine Taxiarchus there on the cut, but the pass was tipped. And now here's Ellie Harmon. We've seen her outrun the defense before. Can she do it again? She's going to get chased down, and she will slow it down as her lane to the goal quickly disappeared. Now, CRL really trying to get inside, but Whalen's defense is too strong. Here's Melvin on the defense. Guarding Harmon. And a foul will be called. A little over four minutes left and Now CRL could have a goal scoring opportunity. It is blocked by and this pass will go out of bounds. Lily Mealy couldn't control it. And it will be CRL ball. There's Travis defending. Haley Melvin gonna pass it up to Stady. Good transition from Wayland here. Wayland just being patient. Sydney O'Rourke drives and just over. A little over the top. Jane Tardiff is there and she will she will bring it back in for Wayland. Taxiarchus to Brown. Here's Mealy. And Luke, if you recall, ever since Wegerbauer has been hurt, she has not come back into the game. Yeah. So um, that injury might be very serious. Yeah, it might be serious, but it's also it's also a ten goal game, so there's no need for her to really go back in. It might just be uh, cautionary by the Wayland coaches. Yeah. yeah. I think if it wasn't as serious, they would put her back in if they needed her. But as of right now, they really don't. They are controlling this game in every facet. Here's Harmon now with the ball. She's going to beat the Whalen defense. Brown on her tail. And she will strip it. Now Taxiarchus is going to try to beat her defender. spin move over to Brown. We've hit the two minute mark of the half here as Mealy, Lily Mealy will try to control it. Ball's on the ground. Travis will try to pick it up. Here's Sydney O'Rourke now trying to circle in. Wayland and CRL battling, battling for it and Wayland will come up, come up with it. Is up top and Whalen might try 
try to grab a couple goals before half. I wouldn't say their offense has gone dormant, but hasn't obviously it hasn't been what it was like at the beginning of the game, as expected. They can't keep scoring the whole game. Here's Stady. Over to Brown. Brown just working around. Here's Lily Mealy. She's gonna try to get inside. Pass it up to Taxiarchus. Taxiarchus in there and she will not shoot it. Too many defenders in her way. And a goal there. I think there was, and I think she'll will get a yeah, she'll get, she'll get an opportunity to score. It's a shooting space foul. And now clock ticking down. We're at 20 seconds left in the half. Here's Jane Tardif. She's gonna score. Second a, goal of the game. A goal there for Jane Tardif. And now Wayland, an 11 goal lead as the clock winds down to end the half. Wayland up 13 to 2. We'll see you. Don't go away. We'll be back for the second half. All right, now onto the sideline for a halftime report by Brendan O'Rourke and Charlie Johnson. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Gabe. Uh, good first half from the <laughs> from the Warriors. Uh, in the second half, um, let's see how many new faces uh, the team can get in. And uh, along with that, <laughs> uh, let's see how the defense, if they can uh, keep up the way that they've been playing. Oh, uh, yeah, what do you think, Charlie? <laughs> well, from my view, the Wayland offense is just unstoppable right now. <laughs> Uh, you know, 13 to 2, man. Uh, it's just unstoppable. Like, they're like the Golden State Warriors in 2017, man. Just like a powerhouse of a team. You know, I, I'm really looking forward to watching this team uh, for the rest of the season because right now they're looking like unstoppable. You got Sammy Johnson out there, like Paul Rabel with a stick. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the second half. This is Wayland Student Press Network's live coverage of Wayland Girls Varsity Lacrosse. I'm Gabe Leikerman, and alongside me is Luke Caples, and we're ready for a second half between the Wayland Warriors and the CRL Falcons as Deirdre Brown will be on the faceoff to start the second half. Looks like uh, Deirdre Brown has the ball. She's got some wheels. She has been dominating this game, Luke, and she will look to continue that in the second half. And a bright spot for Wayland as Julia Wegerbauer is back in the game. She got hurt Ooh, earlier. That's an X factor right there. She got hurt earlier and she was making a big impact. So it's good to see that she's okay. Just passing around the arc. It's a nice ball movement right here. And Wayland don't have to rush anything. They can just get as good of a shot as they want. Now here's Caitlin Mabe. And now CRL will get possession, but Whalen gets it back right away. They're fighting let's go, for let's it. Let's go, let's go. Sammy Johnson. Oh, Cindy O'Rourke with the pickoff. And now here's, That's what we like. here's Deirdre Brown now over to Sammy Johnson. Caitlin May behind the net. Now, 
Here's Jillian Mealy back to Mabe. And a goal. Bang! <laughs> what a goal there by Wayland to take a 14 to 2 lead. I love the energy, Charlie. And Wayland's feeling it's actually it. Actually, Luke. Luke Caples. Oh, that was Luke Caples, my bad. As Wayland's up 14 to 2 now in this game. Now, when that was the first goal of the half, did not take long to come. And Wayland is up by 12. Here's Deirdre Brown on the face off. Yep. Let's see what she can do. And a foul called. Oh, uh, let him play, Stripes. Facts. Now Deirdre will try to pick it up and she will. Just passing it around. Sammy Johnson, Sydney O'Rourke, Sophie Allen Bogan. This round gives it up. Jillian Mealy. Oh! A great save there. Off the hardwood. Now, a work behind to Mabe. Yeah, Sophie Ellenbogen cutting to the hoop. And you can hear the let's go win. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Getting a little physical out there. Because you can see CRL is... Uh, they're angry that they're losing. They're going to do anything they can to get back in this game. Here's Wegerbauer over to Ellen Bogan. Brown to Johnson. Caitlin Mabe, comeback story. <laughs> Yeah, a big, a big injury there. And it's great to see her back on the field. And a big goal! Goal by Sophie Ellen Bogan. This will put Wayland up 13 now. Now Deirdre Brown will be back in the center circle for the faceoff. Now here's Wegerbauer. She's going to be fouled. Loses it. It's covered by CRL. There's Driving Ellie down. Harmon, she has been the dominant force of this offense. She's going to drive through the middle. We have a wasp in the studio. <laughs> Very distracting, I agree, but. That's one big wasp, Gabe. Yep. And it is right in our face, but you know what? The things we do to get the oh, broadcast Oh, great defensive up. play. Cat Taxiarchus. Here comes Caitlin Mabe. Carly Travis. Never mind. <laughs> That's Jillian Mealy. <laughs> Jillian no. Mealy, the freshman, the Wonder Kid, saved. A great save there by the goalie. And Jillian Mealy, a great move to get inside. And we forgot to say, the, uh, the halftime show is sponsored by Trojan. <laughs> One of our uh, long 
longtime partners at WSPN. WSPN recently won a pacemaker, which is a big accomplishment, so congratulations to us, I guess. We're just so great. For real. And it was pretty much all due to Luke Capel's great broadcasting abilities. Yeah, they actually took to took a trip to Los Angeles last week. Got some rays. Um, just expanded their minds in the nice city of LA. Sammy Johnson with the ball. Sophie Ellenbogen. Julian Mealy, the wonder kid. Sammy Johnson. Sophie. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> oh! Upper 90! <laughs> what a shot! Wow! As you can All right. Great goal by Deirdre Brown there. She is going to American University next year, Division I program. And as you can see, she has the talent. Yeah, she's been everywhere on the field, Luke. She has been dominating both passing, assisting, and scoring the goals. And now she will lose the faceoff, Ellie Harmon, but no, Deirdre actually wins it back. She's going to give it up to Wegerbauer. She's going to take it up the field. Here comes Wags. Sammy Johnson. Sydney O'Rourke. Just passing it around. Deirdre Brown here trying to find a teammate. She finds oh. a Sydney O'Rourke, but able to control the pass. And here's Ellie Harmon. She's going to try to take it up the field, get CRL going. She is hounded by the Wayland defense. And a foul called there. And now here, here's Sydney O'Rourke trying to get it. Sophie Ellenbogen picks it up. She's going to take it. Here comes it. Sophie Ellenbogen penetrating the D. And she pulls it back out. And now, here's Sammy Johnson with the ball. Just passing it around. Kaylin Mabe, Sammy Johnson. Wags. With the shot, oh, off the post. Picked back up, not sure what's going on. And a foul called. As you can see, the coach is visual. Really <laughs> frustrated. Goal! Let's keep it down, guys, please. Caitlin Mabe with the snipe. And now big substitution here for Whalen, taking off three. Oh, or four. Oh, 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 As you can see, the crowd is buzzing. <laughs> Now here's Ellie Harmon here on the face-off win. Shout out to uh, Connor Doherty listening in the car. Back in uh, Wellesley, Mass. Now a free shot here for Ellie Harmon. CRL maybe cut into this lead a little bit. And 
and they shot. Great save. save. Saved by Emily Campos. She's going to control and gives it to Taxi Arcus. She's going to get fouled. Passes it up to Wags. Being chased down. Here's Whalen penetrating the D. Now here's Stady here. Passes it back up. Sammy. And here's Travis. Twelve minutes and thirty seconds left to go in the game. Wayland up by fifteen. People moving around trying to make something happen here. Trying to get open. Oh, nice cut and a nice shot. Goal, Wayland. That was Lily Mealy there. I think that's not her first goal of the game. She has scored before. She does it again to give Wayland a 16 goal lead. Shout out to Darius Day. Listening. We love the support. Uh, star football player. Offers from Bama, Ohio State, and um, Union College. <laughs> All the top schools. You know Union's one of the top candidates to win the Natty every year. Darius is a special type of player. And now a face-off win for Brown. Here comes Deirdre. Now here's Travis now. Over to Tardiff, back to Travis. Nobody likes your highlights. <laughs> oh, Sammy. Here goes Sammy. Oh, picks it back up. They're going to reset here. Great chance for Wayland. Here's in the middle and a goal. 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 Wailing up by 15. <laughs> Sierra with the ball. Ellie Harmon. Oh, nice defensive play by Caitlin Mabe. The hustle. The hustle. And Great hustle by Mabe Miles. Mabe Miles is going to control hey, it. Mabe Miles. And try to get it up, and it's going to be Caitlin Mabe with it. Here goes Caitlin Mabe. Comeback story of the year. Passing it up to Emily Stady. I'm going to prom with her. Passing it around the key. You know, Gabe, some people actually compare Kaylin Mabe to the great Paul Rabel. What do you have to say about that? I think that's a fair comparison, Luke. I think they share a lot of similarities. <laughs> 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 
But yeah, I say it's a fair comparison as a timeout called. Don't go away. We'll be right back. starting back up again. Ball will start out with James Hardiff in the Cambridge side of the field. Yeah, Luke, uh, in case you're just joining us, I am Gabe Lakerman. I am with Luke Caples. Welcome back to Wakeham and WSPN's production of Whalen Girls vs. The Cross against the Cambridge Region 9 Falcons. Eight and a half left. Caitlin Mabe cuts and no one sees her there. Now swing it on the top of the arc. Back, back to the top, and Caitlin made gives up to Sydney O'Rourke. One more, keep on swinging around. What have you seen from this offense in this game, Luke? That is promising as the season progresses. No, this isn't a tough test necessarily. Whalen found goals, and it was never difficult for them. So, so. They were just patient with their offense. They knew when to go fast, when to attack. Um, yeah. Yeah, no doubt, Luke. Yeah, and they've had the ball most of the time. Jordan Brown came out with a face off. Caitlin Mave as well. So. Yeah, now to Travis. Behind the net. Swings around to Stady. Well, and doesn't really need urgency here with 7.30 left as they're up 17. Yeah, Taxi Arc is now controls the ball. Whalen players are looking to cut. It gives it up. Tardiff top the key. That's going to feel work. Not much going to the inside. They're not really penetrating the defense here. But another who player who's admitted uh Sydney O'Rourke to Worcester College. Yeah. No doubt, Luke. Great player. Yeah. One of the bright spots in the win. Offensive attacking. Uh, yeah, now here is a mark. Gives it to Sophie Elmogan as she pulls out of the D. Good pass up top. Whalen are just. Whalen are just passing around.
not much going on here for the last two minutes or so. But Stady, Stady now loses it. Wins it back and gets tripped in the process. That and it will be, will be Whalen Ball. Yes. Now Stady passes to O'Rourke. Now to Paxiarchus. Again, now the Warriors just keep on swinging it around. Gabe Lykerman here. On with Luke Caples. Yep. Cambridge has the ball. Luke, what are your thoughts on the Ukrainian crisis? Uh, personally, um, not too informed on it. Uh, I should I should educate myself. Get to know get to know more about it. I'm kind of into like. That's about it. So. Oh, dinger on the softball field. If you guys can see, Wayland Softball is playing a game uh, behind this field. They actually ranked uh, second in the state for Division One. Heavily recruited Tessa Longi. Yeah, they have some good players over there. We'll We'll make sure to get out to some games. Uh, and here Cambridge has an attacking opportunity, which oh, bounces, bounces in. in. And that is Cambridge. Is Cambridge's fourth goal. Third. Third, fourth, third, third goal. or fourth goal. Third goal. With third just, goal. With just under five minutes left. Um, well, it appears to be up by eight goals. <laughs> Despite Cambridge uh, losing a lot of the game, they've remained with their starters. Uh, not too sure about that. Luke, I think now would be a great time. Get in those freshmen, get in those sophomores. You know, give them some varsity experience. Because clearly, it would take a miracle to come back to this game. I don't want to. I don't want to say it's not possible. Never say never, as Justin Bieber once said. It's pretty impossible. Right but now. I think just now would be a great time. Take out the starters, put in the freshmen, think about the future, just get some experience yeah. instilled in those athletes. Yeah, at this point of the game, the score doesn't really matter. You're going to lose. It's already a route. So just get some more players in. As the ball is lost by Ellie Charman and picked up by... Cat Taxi Arcus looks yeah. appears to be injured, running off the field, subbing in for her. Riley Licklider. That is actually Jillian Mealy. Oh. Riley Licklider doesn't. She's not here. Uh, My apologies to everyone listening. Dinger on the softball field as she rounds the bases. Wow, look at that speed. Go home, go home. And Cambridge swings the ball up top. Stopped by a wall of Wayland defenders. Oh, and the ball is loose, but Emily Stady, Emily, you, I don't know. Not sure, not very familiar with the rules of lacrosse, Luke. But it appears that you can't cross the 30 yard line. Great defense. Here comes Emily. Emily Stady. Wayland on the counter. They have numbers on Cambridge, but they choose to slow it down like they have uh, in the late second half here. You know, the score could could really be a lot more, but Whalen taking the uh, sports sportsman approach to the game. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of... Uh, Great pass! Oh, oh. almost a Almost in. went into the goal off of a pass yes. right there. The ball's distributed to... Um, Solomon. Here comes Caitlin Mabe with the ball. Picked up by Sophie Ellen Logan. Pass Tardif. to Tardif. Back to Sophie. Yeah, Whalen offense really hasn't been operating. Here comes uh, Sophie Ellen Logan. Uh, pulls it back out. You know, like I just said. They, they could be up there a lot more goals, but, you know, they have a big lead. Just cool it up. 
A lot of people actually compare uh, Tardif and Sophie Ellenbogen on the fast break, like uh, Jason and Jalen on the Celtics. What do you have to say about that? Lee? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, Lob City. For real, for real. Yeah. As That's on God. The ball is past the cutter, Sidney O'Rourke. She brings it back out. And there's a foul on the play. And I think Sidney O'Rourke will get the ball back and she will. Shot and she passes it. Yeah, well, Waylon, you can really see that they're not trying to score. As Kaylin Mabe does, and yeah, Waylon's really not going for it. You know, they're taking a sportsmanship approach. Like I said, they're just getting the possession up the pass. Emily Steady with the ball. Just building, building better s ball skills. Buddy, you don't even know what you're saying. Um, you know, we've talked to, to Coach Ashley Means. Great, great lacrosse coach. Yeah, she really wants her girls to succeed. Um, and she has a good group of girls out there. She has a good group of girls out there. Uh, as the game is over and Whalen gets a... Whalen wins it! Whalen gets a W in the win call. Uh, and that's... Get in! That's Luke Capos and Gabriel Likerman signing off for today. <laughs>